This is a simple overview of the board flare run pi function. In this table, we've got some code examples on the left. And in this case, we're just going to use a single argument. Um, this is kind of boring. We've just used regular expressions, but we'll get some more interesting stuff um, in a further video. But this is just to give you an idea how things work. So we've got um, the, the basis of the function is we call the function with the first argument is the code and the second argument well there can be any number of subsequent arguments um, in this case it's arg1 but if we wanted to we could also um, add another a second or third argument as you can see here in the function definition it's a repeating argument so it can take any number of of arguments which provides a lot of flexibility so the um, what happens then is that argument is set as a global variable and over here in our code you can see that we're passing that global variable arg1 into the function which is validating the email address. Um, so we go ahead and click enter and it takes a few seconds for the Python runtime to spin up in the, in the add-in and then we get the result here. Just as a comparison, um, we've got the same function operating in Excel's native PY feature. So I'm just going to expand this out here. So we've got the exact same code here, just duplicated here. And what we've done is just left everything the same, except we've set the argument, uh, the arg1 global to using Excel's um, syntax. We've set that to the arg1 um, column here column B. So it's a great way to see how the like you can literally use the exactly the same syntax and function um, in both. And so the, que the question that often comes up is, well, why would you use one versus the other? Well, there are two completely different things. Excel PY, um, you can use in a more of an interactive way where you can change these references within your code. It's for those of you who are familiar with it, it's more like a Jupyter notebook environment. What you can't do is call this as a function. So if you try to use XLPY as as a function, like we'll just sort of move over here for a second. If we take, for example, equals to plus py so it lets us call this up as if it's a function but i'm just going to put in like two as an or let's just say two plus two as an example it isn't actually a function so if you want to use python in one of your formulas you can't actually do that um, using excel py and that's why we built specifically why we built um, the borgflare runpy function is for the use cases that we were interested in, we wanted to be able to run it as an actual function. And that enables us to put it inside formulas, lambda functions, and all sorts of interesting stuff. Anyways, um, I'll cut this video off here, and in a future video, we'll show you some more interesting examples beyond just the regular expression ones that, that are in this worksheet, including calling APIs and, and so on. Have a great day.